to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Someone rise up in one minute and begin to pray from the depth of your heart. Someone pray. Please pray, please pray. Let every other name fade away. Let every other name fade away Till there's so clear Let every other name fade away Let every other name fade away Jesus, take your name Hear me. I have prayed for a family where all of them mysteriously HIV just manifested in their lives like that. Like from father to children, there was no history of that demonic thing. But everybody like that. I know people who are healthy and sound and fine about to get married they went to do blood tests and they suddenly found out that one person is hiv and the person said i can't there is no way this would have come medically certified when everything scatters they go back and check and you find out they are perfectly sound i like you to pray and say in the name of jesus christ say it say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that no power will contend with my authority i am a spirit with a mortal body i am a spirit that submits to the authority of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i have dominion in the name of jesus over the realm of the air the realm of the sea someone is praying shabagata barate kate palaka to soprondos e krete ke barato soto brenda ke de belagadia shakata praska de balakata Pray, something is happening. Pray, something is happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shout it, say in the name of Jesus. I take my rightful place. On earth, on earth as God's steward and, and I declare Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit I am in partnership with you every good thing that must manifest from heaven to my life I declare 
let it be so now lift your voice and begin to pray i take my place i take my place every good and perfect gift assigned by god to find expression in my life in this season i declare i take my rightful place as God's steward on earth. Shabagada by Gadeba Kata Brandega de Bala Sosia, Ebrakatoshko do Brandega de Balekata, Shabrandega de Baruskiata. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Say in the name of Jesus, every system of authorization working against my life, my family, my destiny, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be silenced now. Open your mouth and pray. Be silenced. Be silenced. Be silenced. Shekete pakata balakatosh. Be silenced in the name of Jesus. Systems of authorization fighting your influence, fighting your destiny. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now, hear me. This prayer you are about to pray many miracles are going to come out of it say in the name of jesus i declare that this body is the temple of the holy spirit therefore every sickness and infirmity in this body programmed to waste my life i command depart now open your mouth and pray Depart fibroids, depart high blood pressure, depart cancer, depart someone pray. Tumors, growths, depart. Belakatosh Kadila Pariata. Blood conditions, depart. Shagada bagada bagados kate, embre dega baruso segede balatos. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare from today that I have a covenant of longevity. My body will never separate from my spirit until my time is done every premature separation either by accident by sickness by the activity of wicked people i cause it right now go ahead and pray no premature separation coming in the form of accidents hallelujah in the name of jesus please don't be distracted jeremiah 22 29 please give it to us quickly jeremiah 22 verse 29 it says oh earth 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 hear ye oh earth 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 it says hear ye the word of the lord the earth is a universal point of contact. The Bible says, as for the earth, out of it comes bread. 
it says the profit of the earth is for all and even the king is fed by that which comes from the earth i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus my portion given to me by god i decree and declare through the ministry of men let it gravitate towards my destiny open your mouth and pray god is a god of portions God is a God of portions. Pray. God is a God of portions. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Every negative inheritance that has been transferred to me by those who were before me, I decree and declare by the blood of the Lamb, I reject it right now. I reject it. Go ahead and pray. Every negative inheritance, inheritance, that has come as untimely death negative things closed doors i reject it someone pray i reject it i reject it i reject it in the name of jesus i reject it Abagada Baragos, Abrakatos Kateba Lakatesh. hallelujah listen the implication of having dominion over the realm of the air the realm of water the realm of earth is that no element that comes from these sources should work against you are you getting what i'm saying now judges i, I, I was quickly trying to look for the scripture Judges chapter 5. I hope I get it right. Let's look at 19 and 20. This was Deborah and Sisera. Judges 5. The kings came and fought. I hope I got. Then fought the kings of Canaan in Tanakh by the waters of Megiddo. And they took no gain of money. Verse 20. Yes. It says they fought from heaven. The stars in their courses fought against Sisera. Can I tell you, the elements of nature can hearken to the voice of those who know their God and can stand in partnership. Hold on. That means if someone goes to use the earth against me or pronunciations that go through the wind or water, provided is one of these elements. Did the Bible not say the sun shall not smite you by day? not the moon by night say in the name of jesus i speak to the elements of creation hear the word of the lord walk in partnership with the holy spirit and the word of god for my favor for my destiny not against me
open your mouth and begin to pray the elements of the supernatural I decree and declare the Sun shall not smite me by day the moon shall not smite me by night the scourging tongues of men shall not catch up with me I have dominion over the air dominion over the sea dominion over the earth pray hallelujah hallelujah don't be tired Genesis 1 from verse 20 I want to show you something about the mystery of this water you see are you ready and God said let the waters do what bring forth abundantly so water is connected to abundance and water in scripture means men too are we together it is not just about physical water water is also prophetic and symbolic of men it says let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that had life the fowl that it may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven 21 let's read together one to read and God created the great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly. Hold on. We are going to declare the prayer of abundance. Waters here does not mean going to do enchantment with water. Water here means men. Are we together? Water. Prophetic. That means everybody's abundance is in the hands of men. And the Bible says God can issue a command and those men can release it abundantly. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the abundance assigned for my life, for my assignment through the ministry of men. I declare, let it be released unto me. Go ahead and pray. Let the waters bring forth abundantly. Someone pray, someone pray. Let the water spring forth abundantly. Shabragadeba lagata proskoto balando shaliatas. hallelujah Psalm 79 verse 11 Psalm 79 verse 11 let the sighing 
of the prisoner come before thee according to the greatness of thy power preserve thou those that are appointed to die death is an appointment I can reject an appointment that you give me we can fix an appointment for 12 and I can choose to reject it is that true please look up for there to be an appointment it means there must be some sort of consent even if not mutual there has to be an awareness okay you go to apply for a visa you expect an appointment there is an understanding between you and the the, the consular officers that there is an appointment so when the bible talks about an appointment it means someone represented you for that appointment to be fixed even if you are not there like a man can go to get an appointment for all his children and they just know that your appointment is on the 25th so when the bible says there are people appointed to die it may be that they through ignorance have signed in for that appointment or someone before them already made the appointment in the name of jesus christ every appointment whether by covenant whether by ignorance or by disobedience with the spirit of death i decree and declare by the blood of the eternal covenant help them please let it be cancelled now open your mouth and pray by the greatness of your power preserve those who have been appointed to die someone pray by the blood of the eternal covenant hallelujah in the name of jesus we have one last prayer please look up and this prophetic prayer is dedicated to nigeria listen carefully you see this onslaught of terrorism and the rest go and read the book of esther you will find out that haman and the plotters of evil they consulted by divination and they were given a date when they will attack I can tell you this for sure. No terrorist attacks at will. No. They consult with the constellations and they make incantations until the heaven gives them a go. That's why it looks like it is effortless, regardless army, regardless whatever. I say it with all due respect to all the forces who are doing their best. But there has to be a spiritual advantage. Can I tell you the truth? If you approach spiritual things just with your head knowledge or with strength you will be a victim of several casualties it is not like Satan and terrorists are so powerful their advantage is not in their physical armory I tell you this their advantage is that they have mastered through divination the art of manipulating the realm of the spirit and it is good for us to pray but for God's sake prayer in ignorance is the same thing as not praying hallelujah so they set a date and even though her man was dead the decree of the date for destruction still continued it took another decree to change it the Bible says where the word of a king is he says there is power he said declare ye that thou mightest be justified if you refuse to plant in a farm something will still grow the name is weed in elementary science or agriculture they define wheat as weed as unwanted are we together unwanted plants while men slept hear me we are going to make decrees every element of the supernatural that has been manipulated to work supporting evil and death and bloodshed in this nation in this city and around 
please don't say it does not concern you don't make the mistake of Esther when her man was plotting evil Esther was enjoying the delicacy of the palace and Mordecai sent a warning he said do not think if you are silent that when they are done with us you will be spared for you do not know whether it is for such a time as this everyone who has been kidnapped even those killed they were sincere people who got up in the morning just like you don't forget that you have not you have not stopped moving you too move out in the morning and in the night so don't say it does not matter shout this from the depth of your heart say in the name of Jesus I take my place as one who has authority and I decree and declare the spirit of bloodshed the spirit of terrorism the spirit of oppression around our land the spiritual power that supports you we break it right now go ahead and pray the covenants that support you be broken the altars that support you be broken the enchantments that support you be broken the priesthood that supports you be broken we prophesy to the north we prophesy to the south we prophesy to the east we prophesy to the west in the name of jesus we declare the ministry of angels may they excel in strength by the word of the lord we declare this by the decree of the watchers in the name of jesus christ there is no rest and no peace for evil hallelujah hallelujah let me just add this one last one you are going to declare prophetically safety and preservation over everyone who is connected to you listen listen you have to reject bad news between now and december you, you, your your destiny is not ready for some kind of news that would depress you and waste your time it is within your power yours is to stand in your position with your delegated authority and with understanding and to make decrees are we together you are going to mention the name of everyone including yourself and declare the bible says the name of the lord is not only a weapon of victory it is a strong tower the righteous can enter and they are saved begin to mention the name of your loved ones your spouse your children your parents lord we declare covering prophetic covering they are exempted from the arrows that fly by day exempted from the noisome pestilence the destruction that wastes in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall harm you with your eyes will you see and the reward of the wicked hallelujah let me make one decree over your life and we're done revelations 3 and verse 8 revelations 3 and verse 8 let's start from 7 and 8 revelations 3 to the angel of the church in philadelphia write these things saith he that is holy he that is true and hath the key of david he that openeth and no man did you see that so who are those that shot 
Who are those that shut? And who are those that open? He had the key of David. He opened it. That means if you don't have the key of David, you can open a door that a man can shut. You can shut a door that the man can open. But it says he that had the key of David and by the mystery of the key of David that a door can be opened that no man can shut and shut and no man can open verse 8 he says I know thy works behold I who has the key of David I have opened before thee he says I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it because I acknowledge that you have little strength yet with your little strength you have kept my word and you have not denied my name I stand in partnership with the Holy Spirit and according to Revelation chapter 3 from verse 7 and 8 I decree and declare upon you that door that has been set may it be open and remain open doors of favor be open and remain open doors of lifting be open and remain open doors of restoration be open and remain open doors of opportunity be open and remain open doors of speed be open and remain open hear me i release this prophetic word let it follow you like your shadow that any human vessel in partnership with any spirit that wants to shut this door may this prophetic word judge them i say it again any human being that wants to shut the door that the holder of the key of david has opened makesh kalibarata siata May this prophetic word judge them. Some of you, by reason of these open doors, things that have been hanging, that you have just been seeing but will never come to your hand, in the name of Jesus, let it enter your hand finally. For in Jesus' name we pray. Please wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to the King of Kings. The giver of all good things. In Jesus' name I pray. Now please listen. Listen. I, I want you to be disciplined as God grants grace. We are touching something very serious and sensitive in the realm of the spirit so may i request that you devote some extra time in prayer don't just hear this and go back not out of here you are taking advantage of this and you are praying what are you praying declaring your dominion before you go to bed you declare by the spirit in the name of jesus i declare the lines have fallen for me in pleasant places I have a goodly heritage. Don't think it is a childish thing to do. You declare over your ministry, your life, declare over everyone. Finances, if you are sick in your body, let this be your approach throughout this week. In the name of Jesus, I declare that by his stripes I am healed. On Sunday again, please, I beseech you by the message of God, we are waiting upon the Lord. I know it may not be easy, but God will grant you grace. Are we together? It's better for you to push through and walk experientially in total victory. Please, whatever you do, let me speak especially across the body of Christ and all who are connecting. I want to teach you something as we look at part two. Please, come and learn about the mystery of altars. I want to teach you spiritual systems of authorization. How you can unlock and unlock mysteries. And you will be surprised at the things that will change in your life the lord brings this word because he loves us 
and he brings his word because the set time has come in the name of Jesus Christ if you are not born again you are in trouble simple there is no need wasting your time if you are not born again after all this please hold on let's respect the Lord and not move around what every time we talk about salvation there are people who already by default there are altars and causes and all kinds of things that stand you cannot afford to ignore Jesus so I am making an altar call for those who came for the first time those who have been around and you are saying apostle I truly need to be delivered from the power of darkness and to be translated into the kingdom of his dear son number two there are those who are saying my life is not the way it should be I need rededication I need to hand over everything properly to Jesus I'm going to count one to five please very boldly I want you to leave your seat and run and come and stand here at the count of five I'll begin to pray koinonia celebrate them one please run to Jesus run to Jesus two Be lifted high, be lifted high, come, for your glory, be lifted high, be lifted high, be lifted high, for your glory, Three, if you're coming, please come quickly. Apostle, I want to come, but I think I'm saved. I'm not sure. Join them quickly. There is no such thing as not sure. You are saved or not. If you are not sure, join them and verify right now. Jesus being here, you can know for sure that you are saved. He said, ye must be born again. Now, please lift your right hand. I salute you for coming, all of you and those who are watching uh, online by way of internet. Thank you for your bold decision. The Bible declares that as many who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Appreciate your courage to come and stand before Jesus himself. He is able to fix our destinies and to give us new beginnings. Say this loud and clear. Say, Lord Jesus. Those who are coming to you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage. For more of our messages, subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. the face of development lord grant me the discipline